Hey YouTube fam. So I just got back from the farmer's market not too long ago and I got a whole bunch of fruits I ain't never seen before. And I'm gonna show you guys and I'm gonna try them and we're gonna see how they taste. I'm excited. So just to name the fruit, this is rambutan, snake fruit, um, dragon fruit, sour sap or guanabana, passion fruit. If I'm not saying it was because I forgot the names and I have like a list right here. <laughs> oh, look, this is just for me to snack on. These are not exotic, but all of these. These are so good. So I'm gonna start with these. They're ground berries. And I already tried some, so that's why I'm like, I just want to eat some more. And your knife for this. It's a snake fruit. Just... That would have made life easy. Okay. This is the seed. And let's see what this tastes like. Like, it's not nasty. But do I want to eat the whole thing? I don't think so. And I got three of them. But it's okay because, like, whatever fruit is about to go bad or goes bad or I don't want to eat, I throw it in the back. And, like, the monkeys take it or the ants eat it or. So I don't even be feeling bad. Yeah. I probably won't like eat this again. But I mean it's not bad. It's just not it's not my vibe. I don't know, maybe I eat it later. <laughs> it's a, I have mixed feelings about this fruit. But it looks so fire. I love snakes. Like I love I love snakes. On to the next one. Rambutan. Really? Yeah, that's how you say that. I already like Rambutan. see but like I was saying I already like Ramadan but the first time I tried it was when I got out here I was like oh what's that I want to try that and I like them they're they have like a very subtle sweet flavor like they're not too sweet but they're good What's next? I'm trying to remember the name of this. My handy dandy notebook. <laughs> I believe this, this one is Naranilla. Naranilla. Oh. Look at that. It smells really good. It looks really weird though. You see this one? Never 
looks really weird. Okay. Let me get over myself. I'm not even sure how I'm like, do I just... <laughs> it's sour, but it's good. This is reminding me of like a Sour Patch Kid, like sour, sweet, and this bitch about to be gone. Like, <laughs> I'm impressed, Mother Nature. Alright, so I'm like 99% sure this is the guava. And um, like I've had guava, guava flavored stuff, but I never had a guava. So I see. He told me to just bite it. Man, this is really hard. <laughs> well, it's not bad. It's not. It's not amazing though, you know. They're giving me like, what the fuck are they called? Um, it's giving me like jawbreaker vibes. So I'm gonna keep eating it and like, in hopes there's something in the middle. I don't know. Yeah, it's nothing spectacular. Okay, next. Up next. Mm. Oh, I got some sweet sop right here. And I got some sour sop right here. I already love sour sop, but also, again, I hadn't tried sour sop until I got out here. And I want to grab. These have seeds. But I eat the seeds. If I can, I'll eat the seeds to like any fruit. Because seeds typically have like the most nutrients. Also, fun fact grapes, uvas, have a high concentration of melatonin in the seeds. So make your kids eat grape seeds instead of melatonin pills, which messes with pineal gland. I don't know how them go to sleep. These, these are peach palms. That's in English. And in Spanish, he said it was Pejibaye. Pejibaye. I'm not Spanish. I'm learning Spanish. Well, that's what the guy said. But Google said these are peach palms. And so what that means is they're like the peaches that grow on palm trees. I thought that was super interesting. And so the way that works is these are them when they are on the tree, you just take them off the tree, but you don't eat them like this. What you're supposed to do is you boil them, they said for like 20 to 40 minutes, and then you peel them. And this is one that was already boiled. It smells kind of like yams. I think it's reminding me of yams. Now, uh, it really it smells like yams. Like I want to make sweet potato, uh, and that's you know what I mean. I want to make yams.
they're pretty good but yeah they they, they remind me of potatoes i don't know why <laughs> that is throwing me off watching out for that rain if you don't know i live in the rainforest in the jungle in costa rica and i love you here So weird. But even the texture is more like maybe cassava, yuca. But they're really good. It's not sweet, but it has a weird flavor. But I like weird, you know? I'm happy I have more. I'm gonna boil them up. I wonder what they taste like. Unboiled or even what they look like. I think. quite. Loquat, loquat. Yeah. Let's see what these are about. I don't know. Do I just bite it? Them. Got these two nice seeds in the middle. What do they taste like? Mm. I don't want to eat the skin. It just doesn't feel... I don't know. Maybe it's a texture. Or maybe you just can't eat the skin. I don't know. <sighs> and the damn flies. They're pretty good. Oh man. It's starting to rain. I tried to move because it's about to rain. Get away from my fruit. Oh my goodness. Next step on our list is chocolate, which I think. Is this? I think so. We're gonna skip this. Oh my god, I don't know what the names of these things. I kind of just want to finish this tomorrow. <clears throat> I'm gonna finish eating these tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. 